All right, that means so. We're doing Ella Migates here. Mm. And I know you have a personal story that triggered this whole process. Mm -hmm. So, all of that stuff is here. Okay, so two stories. Okay. <laughs> one of the stories is, is um, the one I was telling you about uh, trying to close a JV transaction, mm -hmm. been pursuing the deal for quite months. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, it got to a point, even all the people in the chain of that transaction, we had to call one another. We put, we put ourselves into a WhatsApp group mm -hmm. and we, st we did prayer and fasting <laughs> for <laughs> us to close that transaction. Mm -hmm. So, and at the end of the day, all the, um, is the mandate of the owner, mandate this, mandate that, oh, I'm a third party, third leg, fourth mm. wheel. You understand? Mm. All those What's things nice? came and just put that deal and the deal didn't work out. Mm. So I don't want to do the numbers, but if he had gone through, mm. we would have, I would have smiled them with a sizable amount of money from that transaction. Mm. Also, Another story is when I was trying to get my current accommodation. Oh, okay. You understand? Getting the getting to the apartment. The, the funny thing was the fact that you meet an estate agent is asking you for some ridiculous consultation agent. fee. Then it's taking you. You are now driving your car through the desert to go and see an apartment. When you get to the apartment, it's not up to standard then you've not seen it. Even with the ones that are listed on all these property um, listing websites, they are not all that you see. So verification of all these properties is quite a problem. You understand? So one of the things that, I, that has brought us here today now yeah. is the fact that any property or any asset you see on LM Mediates you can take it to the bank, hold us to our word that it has been verified. Right. No encumbrance, no third parties. You understand? Mm. So that is what the blockchain system affords. This is the, it's the opportunity, it's the value proposition of LME mm. You get? Yeah. And the fact that you're not only owning the assets, the fact that you still get rental income and the title of the asset is secured. Mm. We have the asset managers, we have the fiduciary to, uh, at the end of the day. That's that, that, that <laughs> thing is a big issue. Like you hear, you hear of people who, who bought a land and then it was taken back on them because the title, titles were wrong. Mm. Yeah, I know, I know you have experience like that, you've heard stories like that before. From your legal experience, what, what causes that? Why, why does that happen? Okay, there are several factors to that. Several factors to that. And um, I would say that when buying a property or an asset, one thing you have to look out for always is title. Is it a good title? Is it a good title? And then it takes you through, you know, the orders. You have to verify at the land registry. And land registry is just one of the numerous places you have to verify. Mm -hmm. When you want to buy a property, you know that you have a duty. For instance, if it's off plan, you have to go to the family. You have to start from the roots. Hmm. Who are the family who actually own yes. this land? Then thereafter, you now say, okay, you want to go to the land registry. Land registry will only be if the land is registered. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, for instance, you know, after the first document will be if it has a C of O, a subsequent C of O, will be a deed of assignment. Then ordinarily, you should register it at the requisite yeah. registry. Yeah. Then another thing you have to also look out for is litigation. And I think that's where most people, with some people, when they just do that first land registry, they just think all is it's done. Gone. You also yeah. have to know that. And then in law, we call it lease pendants, meaning that there is a pending litigation. And if ordinarily in law, if you buy any asset that has a pending litigation, is as good as you know buying anything. anything. Mm -hmm. So, and that is why, you know, in Hella Mediate, you know, we've taken the pains of that, of you having to go through those channels of verification yeah. to yeah. ensuring that yeah. whatever title you are buying, I'm sorry, whatever asset you are yeah. owning, yeah. it has good title. So instead of you having to go through that orders, we've taken that pain away, we've done that for you, we've 
done that process for you to ensure that yes everything you are buying you can even easily verify yourself mm. you can see the information online once you sign on to our platform and then you know that yes whatever i'm buying has a good title yeah, to because, it. You know, just hearing you talk about the various hurdles you know go to land this go to that check what i'm doing because it mm. sounds like a very cumbersome process it is in it reality is. <laughs> it is <laughs> some of that takes weeks or months it but years to sort out it you is know? so it yeah is. I, I think that's really something that elevates you know that i I really, I really love. And I, for me, I think the part I love, you know, with LMBD is the fact that you can buy properties in various countries, okay. you various know, currencies. And various currencies. currencies. Because you have, you have, you know, if if you are saving for your child's um, holiday or their yeah, school, school fees, fees yes. and in two thousand nineteen, you have saved five million dollars. You know, in Naira, I doubt that that five million dollars is still five million dollars where where the um, where the currency has really really been devalued. But being able to now take that particular asset, you know, that your money and say, you know, I'm going to buy a house in Dubai, I'm going to buy part of a house in um, UK, in the US. US. That ability for you to keep your money, yeah. you know, so that you don't lose that money, for me, is is vital because. I know how much people are paying for school fees now. You know, I get I have friends who are seriously complaining about that expense. You know, and how much the money that they are saving in Naira is just you know, yeah. it's not doing what it used to do before. And talking about savings in Naira is yeah. one of the things that is one of the major value proposition of what we are doing. Mm. Any rental income in forex, mm. you have you 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 have circumvented that um, ed, headache. Hmm. Of um, this is instability, instability of the naira. Hmm. You can see what happened to the naira a few days ago. Yeah. Do you understand? So if I had, if I had naira hmm. two days ago or three days ago, hmm. if I want to enter the dollar market, hmm. it means I'm taking, I'm going to be acquiring dollar at an higher rate hmm. or at the higher rate. Hmm. So, but what LMD does is you earn all of this in Forex. You store those values in Forex. They are more stable. Hmm. We cannot, because we are Nigerians, doesn't mean that we are going to shy away from the fact that we are still on our way to having a stable economy. So, and the stable economy is one of the things that has even dwindled trust in business too. So, like, you know, we've, we've met people and the question they keep on asking is, how, how do I trust you? How do I, why, why should I? Because so many people have cut away people's money, you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. So these are the things that we've put together. Um, the asset managers, the, the, trustees, the trustees, the custodians, the fiduciaries, yeah. you understand? Facilitating mm. the insurance. Insurance, insurance very key. Rightly mm. in place. You get. Okay, so let's, let's, let's walk people through the process, all right? How exactly do we do it? We get an asset, what kind of assets do we, do we normally We don't just onboard any assets. Okay. Yeah, you understand? But we have assets in various categories. Okay. So, because like we rightly said, we're looking at an entry level of $100, which is 50,000 Naira. Yeah. And aside, and even at 50,000 Naira, a bricklayer mm -hmm. in Nigeria mm -hmm. can afford to get on the platform mm -hmm. because it doesn't need to cough up the 50,000 at once. Okay. So that's why we set up Ella Target. Okay. You get so you can spread the fifty thousand naira payment to own a lot of the assets. You can spread it over two payments, three payments, depend. It could do it daily, weekly, however it wants mm. to do it. So but you're saving up to own, own, own a piece, piece of the asset. Yes, but and are they eligible, you know, to earn the rent on that particular asset? Once you own a lot of the assets, you are the owner. You are eligible to the rent. No, well, there's no selective ownership. Mm. If you can pay for it and if you can yes. buy it, you own it. Mm. You earn the rental income on it. Mm. And another thing we need to touch on is security. Mm. We've put in um, superb KYC AML structures. Mm. So it's not as if anybody can just come and onboard. You can't go and steal money. You can't use monument for the public mm. to just come and start buying properties and storing value for mm. yourself. So if you're on any uh, money laundry list in the world, we are, we are matching about 1,400 anti-money laundry lists every day. Mm. 
So, which is why we are putting in the work to make sure that all of these things are tight to gain trust. Because all of, all, all, the, all of what we are doing is based on trust. And that is why we have all these trust partners and fiduciaries in place. Mm. Okay. okay, so, so you want to say something? Yeah, I want to say something. I just want to contrast on what he said. You know, um, there was a time, you know, before the concept of Ella Medit came up, there was a time, you know, over time I've always seen, you know, real estates, you know, different assets and properties that I ordinarily love, but, you know, I don't have the financial capability to purchase that property, you know. So when the idea of LM Dates came up, I was like, oh, this is nice. And then, you know, with research and everything and with the work in progress and everything we've done, you know, it made me realize that every person can actually own a fraction. Okay, so Square Trend is about to end. All right, we're going to 2022. What is in what is in 2022? Launch of the app and the platform proper. Okay. And two, what I'm excited most about for 2022 is the launch of Ella Target. Mm. So um, I, 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 the reason why I'm excited about it is the fact that the dream is coming into perspective. Okay, when I was, um, let, me give you, uh, let me give you another gist. When I was 17 years old, at 16, 17, there's this diary that my mom gave me. And in that diary, after I listened to Olumide Emmanuel, mm. Olumide Emmanuel happens to be one of the biggest real estate magnates, investor slash businessman. And he, I went for one of his workshops and he, the, the thing struck a note in me. And since then, when I got home, and he said that for tonight, when you get home, go and write your vision of, you understand? So, and I wrote it there, and I wrote in that, in that diary that my, what I want to do in life is I want to give everybody, I want to build an estate where I can have like a million people living and it is on a sustainable system. Mm. And but we are not, are not developers. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying that we're not developers. We're not, we're not developing any property, you understand? Mm. But now, what, what we are now using tech to do in that guise is giving access for people to actually own properties. Mm. But they are not, LM is not, is not, the model is not for you to buy and live in, but it's for, it's for you to buy and own and rent and rental income. I'm still on course with that vision. <laughs> enough, you enough, get. Fair enough, I agree. Okay, so obviously we need to raise money. That's part, that's part of why we're having this conversation. Yes, we do. Yeah, the numbers are you know, up and down, but why should somebody give us, give us their money? I can answer that question in two distinct ways. Okay. Yeah. Right, let me hear from of Toby. Course. Let me hear from Toby. Ah, uh, you tell me let why. Me hear from Toby. <laughs> they, they should give us money because we are going to make people rich. We are going to build wealth. We are going to build a sustainable legacy. Mm. This is not a pipe dream. Mm. The reason why we need their money is because we need to reach out to people. We need to employ more hands. We need to expand. We need to prove the concept. We need, we need money to do these things. Hmm. So we've got to the point where we've developed an app. Yes. We need to launch. Mm -hmm. But we cannot um, solve this problem by using just a toothpick. Uh, no, no, no. This is this is this is a sledge. This is a sledgehammer and a forklift. Forklift. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the potential in the real estate market, you know the, the money tied in it in trillions of dollars. I mean, mm -hmm. We're not going to achieve what we want to achieve with a few a few thousand dollars. We obviously have a lot of work. There's a lot of lobbying to do. There's a lot yeah. of consumer education to do. Yeah. There's a lot of development to do. Mm. And uh, what I think what I'm most excited about is. I see that we are not building a flash in the pan solution. Mm -mm. We are building something that 
is valuable in itself. Yes, value. Mm -hmm. I was about to say that it actually gives value. value. And then opening opportunities for people to do a lot of things. So we are giving in so much value. Yeah. And, and, that, and that for me is very important. Awesome. Yeah, another thing is, aside um, the value alone, one of the things that keeps me excited about Elamidate is the fact that we're coming into a system and we are we are doing a systemic overhaul. Mm -hmm. You understand? You are not going to buy homes the way you used to buy it. A traditional way. Mm -hmm. So you understand? There used to be a system globally. I'm, I'm, we're, we're operating from Nigeria, yes. But there, there used to be a system globally. If you wanted to buy property, you need to save. You need to have a chunk. So on. Okay, let me, let me. I was in a conversation with a friend, and she's an older friend. Some advise me, advises me too. On, so, and she was giving she was giving me the breakdown or trying to sell the mortgage idea that Nigeria hasn't embraced the mortgage culture. The mortgage penetration is just about five to six percent. You understand? And if the Nigerian system was actually properly structured at age 25, you are, you are, you are, you are expected to have left the university or be leaving the university, mm -hmm. then you can actually pick up a mortgage with a job. Mm -hmm. And the mortgage runs for 25 years, mm -hmm. and you probably own a home at that time. So that used to be the dream. Mm -hmm. But now, you can leave school, or not even leave school, or just work, just have a, a steady source of income, and become a landlord, and become a landlord almost instantly. Not even almost instantly right. exactly. do you have the kyc requirements yeah. can you be verified are you are you using funds you sweat out mm. you understand and all these things are things that it's going to cause see yeah mm. it's going to cause a mega explosion in the industry yeah. you know one, one of the things i like about our system is that we're building on the the rental system. Yeah. And we are currently in that share economy um, move. It yeah. happened with um, Uber, Airbnb. 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 Yeah. yeah. So this shared economy now is, is really where the world is going to. And when it comes to rent, rent is one of the easiest ways to build wealth. You know, just go on assets. You don't need to be educated. You don't need to be, <laughs> you don't you don't need to go to school. You don't yeah. have anything advanced. Just own an asset that is being utilized to earn yeah. your income. And that, that, that fundamental, I think, is really what makes the platform so, so powerful, that we are giving assets that people need, mm -hmm. you know, and they can earn money in their sleep. Yes. Yeah. You know? And that is the beauty of PropTech. PropTech has come to stay. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't come to make the process easy, easy. seamless. Easy. You know, the traditional methods of um, owning a property, you know, you push a lot of papers. There's a lot of paperwork. But now, mm. you know, in simple steps, you can just go through one, two, three. three. I like this. I put in my money. I get my documentations mm. and well, you get your title mm -hmm. card. So mm. the process is just seamless. You don't have to go through the all those that you ordinarily go through traditionally. So and you are not... And when you buy these properties, you are not giving Elamidate your money. Exactly. You are not giving Elamidate your money. We are not saying we are not earning anything. We earn an administrative fee. Mm -hmm. So for, all, for putting up this system and setting it up, I think we, 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 deserve, we, deserve a fee. we deserve a fee. Which is actually much lower than you would have had to pay. That you would have had, had to, to pay for. Years. And now we're not even talking about that for only people that want to own houses. Mm. Now we're even talking about people who are looking for funding to continue development. Yeah. Mm. So we also facilitate. We so, we so you understand, we facilitate funding for off plan developers. So you can, we can. We're not, we're not an investment company. We're not no, 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 no. We, people, we, we don't borrow people money. No, no, no. It, it has to be very clear. We off take it. Yeah. We, we off take it. And the only way we off take it is by getting a community of buyers come and take off that yeah, off yeah. plan mm -hmm. quickly. And the easiest way to um, get it, they say if you want to go far, go. If you want to go far, far. far. Go if you want, want to go far, far. Yeah. go together. Yes. Thank you. All right. I'll, I'll, to round up, I want to ask a question. Um, I was in a prop tech event recently. There are a lot of people in the field doing different things. What do you think? What do you think um, 
PropTech entrepreneurs or founders should be doing right now, considering the fact that when you talk about PropTech, they're like, what's PropTech? Everyone knows FinTech. Yeah. Yeah. What's PropTech? What, what, what is it and what should people be doing? Those people that are trying to innovate in those spaces. Yeah. To, you know, to, for what I would say to um, PropTech um, startup CEOs and co-founders is we need to put out some education. Mm 